A massive new interstellar traveler has entered our solar system with an end goal so immense and brilliant that astronomers describe it as nearly 100 times bigger and more luminous than three Atlas. First detected on September 12, 2025, using the SWAN instrument aboard the SOS spacecraft, its discovery immediately set off a chain of global observations. Within 48 hours, Australian comet hunter Michael Mediato captured a stunning image that left scientists speechless. This was not just another visitor from the void, it was something completely different. A spectacle blazing toward the sun with a ferocity that dwarfs every known comet sighting in recent memory. The sudden appearance has already ignited debates among astronomers. Some call it the most significant interstellar object since Aumuamua. Others imply that its timing, arriving just as 3E Atlas closes in on its own solar encounter, cannot be a coincidence. Its physical features are astonishing. The tail of the visitor stretches nearly 2.5 across the sky, approximately five times the width of the full moon as seen from Earth. Against this dazzling sweep of light, 3E Atlas's own thin filament of a tail looks almost insignificant, like a single matchstick trail compared to a wildfire. The sheer scale of this tail indicates a tremendous release of material or energy far beyond what a typical comet would produce. Some astronomers even speculate that this might not be simple outgassing from solar heating, but rather a more controlled or directed phenomenon. Its brightness and sharply defined tail make it one of the most visually striking objects ever captured by amateur and professional telescopes alike, a glowing sphere cutting across the cosmic dark. The International Astronomical Union moved quickly to classify the object and give it a name, designating it C. 2025 are to SWAN after the Instrument of Discovery. Initially known as SWAN to 5B, its formal naming cemented its place in the astronomical record. But naming it did little to quell the inquiries. Unlike 3E Atlas, which hails from a region near the galactic core, SWAN's origin point is radically different. It came screaming in from Aquarius on a completely unrelated trajectory, making the idea that they are fragments of the same body virtually impossible. This independence deepens the mystery. To unrelated interstellar objects arriving in our solar system just months apart, both on course to meet the sun at nearly the same moment, coincidence strains belief. Could two such wanderers really appear back to back after so many years of silence? Or are we witnessing coordinated activity, some cosmic event larger than we understand? The timing is what unsettles astronomers most. SWAN will make its closest approach to the Sun, its perihelion, at a distance of about 150 million kilometers. Within a few days, 3E Atlas will pass at just 23 million kilometers. On a cosmic scale, the difference is razor thin, barely 50 million kilometers apart, and narrowing as gravitational forces subtly alter their speeds. For a brief moment in October 2025, both objects will vanish from Earth-based telescopes, swallowed by the sun's blinding light. When they emerge again, their paths may be forever changed, or one may not reappear at all. Astronomers are preparing for an unprecedented natural experiment to possibly interstellar travelers negotiating, interacting, or even colliding beyond our sight. The outcome could rewrite what we know about comets, matter from other stars, and perhaps even hint at a universe-wide design intelligence. As both interstellar objects close in on the center of our solar system, the timing feels increasingly eerie. As WAN's perihelion at 150 million km will place it closest to the Sun, roughly the same distance as Earth's orbit. Just a few days later, 3E Atlas will make its independent passage at only 23 million kilometers. The gap between them, a mere 50 million km, may seem enormous to human eyes. Yet, on a cosmic scale, it is the equivalent of two bullets passing inches apart. Even more unsettling, at the crucial moment, both objects will be hidden from view, lost behind the sun's blazing disk. For weeks, no telescope on Earth will be able to follow them. It will be as if the universe has drawn a curtain, blinding humanity to everything about to unfold. 
Astronomers are preparing for this blackout with a mixture of dread and excitement. When the two visitors reappear on the other side, their courses may be dramatically altered, perhaps indicating gravitational interaction or something even more unexpected. Can they shift, accelerate, or decelerate trajectories entirely? Several even speculate about the possibility of a close call or, more significantly, a collision. If either object breaks apart near perihelion, the resulting debris could flood the solar system's interior, creating a spectacular display of meteors or a hazard to satellites and spacecraft. Whatever the outcome, the October window represents a once-in-a-lifetime alignment, and the ramifications could extend far beyond astronomy. However, the most troubling aspect lies in the properties these objects appear to possess. Data from 3E Atlas has already shaken the scientific community. Spectroscopy suggests its composition is dominated by nickel alone, without the iron content normally found in natural meteorite substances. This unusual makeup alone would be enough to spark debate, but it is the energy readings that have truly alarmed scientists. Instruments have recorded emissions consistent with a continuous power source of 10 gigawatts buried beneath the object's surface comparable to 50 nuclear power plants working together. Its even stranger tail behaves differently from typical cometary outgassing. Instead of a chaotic spray of sublimating ice, its emissions form a narrow, columnar jet as if under pressure and deliberate control. The flow remains steady, maintaining constant speed, and its color changes abruptly at perihelion shifting from red to green. Harvard astrophysicist Loeb calls this phenomenon thrust modulation. In his view, the object is not merely venting gas, but actively controlling and adjusting its trajectory as solar heating increases. If 3E Atlas resembles a probe, SWAN is something far more formidable. Early observations indicate a sheath of highly ionized plasma surrounding its core, creating a shimmering barrier capable of deflecting charged particles from solar energy. Unlike a passive cometary coma, this shield seems to fluctuate dynamically almost as though it were being tuned in real time. Its vast, luminous tail, spanning five full moon widths, suggests immense power behind its emissions. Even more astonishing are the minute, sporadic changes in brightness that have been detected, hinting at bursts of controlled propulsion. These light pulses occur in sync with what one would expect from a high-efficiency plasma drive, gently but precisely nudging the object along its path. Spectral analysis further reveals plasma traces of nickel and cobalt in the presence of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, a chemical cocktail that does not match any known natural process. Producing such a mixture would require temperatures and magnetic confinement far beyond anything that occurs spontaneously in comets. And then there is the actual core. If Atlas's 10 gigawatt output was shocking, Swan's core is awe-inspiring. Its energy levels are calculated to exceed 10,000 gigawatts. To put this in perspective, that is nearly the total power consumption of human civilization rolled into one interstellar machine. Some theorists compare it to the energy release of merging black holes scaled down but perfectly contained. In their words, if Swan is the scout, Atlas is a fortress crossing the void like a leviathan on a mission that defies easy classification. It is claimed that Swan's core produces more than 10,000 gigawatts, an amount so astonishing that it dwarfs Earth's total electrical consumption by orders of magnitude. This is not just the core of a comet, it is a monitored power source, a reactor humming at a level we can scarcely imagine. If such a device actually exists, it suggests technology able to regulate energy on a scale that rivals cosmic events. The idea that something could move through interstellar space, survive for tens of thousands of years, and then activate or simply brighten as it approaches our sun hints at a system that is not only resilient but intelligent. Swan surrounding plasma flares like a living organism, bending the solar wind as if shaping its own environment. Observers describe its behavior as impulsive, almost as if aware of its surroundings and responding to changing conditions. 
Whenever it pulses in brightness at predetermined intervals, it feels less like random outgassing and more like communication or, at the very least, a programmed cycle of operation. Among some, the belief grows that this is no mere visitor from another star system. It is a crafted presence, a ship pursuing a predetermined goal. The characteristics of its orbit add to the mystery. NASA and JPL calculations suggest that Swan is not a one-time interloper like Aumuamua, but a traveler locked in a cycle that spans roughly 22,554 years. That would mean the last time it passed near the sun, humanity was just emerging from the last ice age, beginning agriculture and building the first stone monuments. If this information is accurate, Swan has visited before perhaps many times. Each appearance would have been separated by gaps so vast that entire civilizations rose and fell in the meantime, 